So Sydney, for our first topic, it's warfighter AI adoption. What are your thoughts? The first thing that comes to mind is really kind of where we're at today in 2025. We've talked a lot about how it's a lot more accessible now and understandable. There's a lot of education around it. Yeah. Chat GPT, generative AI. 100%. Whereas I think where some of the work that we've done started in a time when that just was not the case. Everybody thought AI was Terminator or right. something that's going to take their right. job. Right. And I think in, in 2017, when we started to think about warfighter AI adoption really intentionally, I think that there was a misunderstanding of what is AI and what can it do to help. And I think there was this inherent fear. And augment users and enable. Right. And I think that the fear came from, well, I don't want to be replaced. And I, I don't think that that's something that we need to really think about from a warfighter perspective or even a DOD perspective at this point, just not where the technology and capability is. But it's how we enable the user. Well, and your timelines are being crunched down, right? So as you have tools at your disposal that can help expedite your workflows, that's going to be really meaningful. And I think as technology has adapted, that's become really critical for adoption. Do you think that adoption requires it to be better than a human? I think human level performance is a very subjective term. Me at 5 a.m. before my coffee in the morning? Not even that. That's not even human level performance. There's a big spectrum there and, and performance and adoption don't necessarily go hand in hand. If you're saving the end user two hours a day, you don't necessarily have to be as performant as a human. You're maybe allowing them to process more information right. faster in a more efficient manner. Well, if you were to give me a metric of you'll save me two hours a day, I would absolutely take that into consideration. I think everybody right? would. So that type of metric is going to be really, really meaningful to increasing adoption. And we have more data, more sensors, less people, and we need to be able to process that information as quickly as possible. But there are use cases where we have to have very performant ethical models in those implementations that really matter.